I was hoping you would ask about it, but, and I think everybody asks about it, and maybe it's not such an interesting question anymore, but it's interesting to me, and I'm hoping you would answer. Um, you mentioned that you really like Yelena Ferrante, and we all do too, at least most of us. And I wanted to hear your take on all this anonymity situation and uh, whether you think um, right now, is it considered in Italy that everybody really knows who she is after all these um, articles which came out? Or is it still a mystery? And just what's your take on the whole situation? Well, um, I think the whole situation is, you know, completely blown out of proportion and, and, and ridiculous. Um, I, I know personally the person who has been accused of being Elena Ferrante, um, um, or, um, she's actually the wife of Domenico Sarnone, um, who has also been, you know, accused, whatever, uh, the word is, I mean, it, it is like a trial though. I mean, and this is the absurd thing because whoever wrote those books did nothing wrong. Uh, and it's been treated almost as if it were a crime. Um, and the nature of the article, uh, the very violent article, an appropriate article that was published a couple of months ago, um, the, the language of that was very disturbing and uh, offensive to me. Um, Whoever wrote those books, uh, the world is no better off knowing who the actual person is. And I think, you know, we've all completely lost perspective in that, you know, so many beautiful things have been created by mankind that we still go to look at and marvel at or read or whatever the case may be. And nobody's hung up on who exactly the person was and what their name was and when they're what their birthday is, or, you know, this whole cult of the individual and the individual's hand and signature behind what's being done. Um, these are kind of recent concepts, if you think about them. Um, so, I mean, and again, people in, in Italy just, they don't care about this, you know? I mean, they have their own things. They have other things to think about and worry about at this point. So this whole Ferrante thing, you know, I mean, it, the article came out, you know, I exchanged some messages with my friends saying, you know, this is just disgusting and why and so unnecessary. And then everybody moved on. Whereas I think here in America, it's become, it's just going, it's just ongoing and it never, it's, it's just not dying. It's not, people aren't moving on and saying, you know, let's just, either read the books or not read the books, but, you know, if someone goes out of their way to say, you know, I would like to write with anonymity, why why that can't be respected in our culture is uh, really a kind of, you know, mystifying to me um, and also distressing in terms of, you know, what, what that means um, and the projection people have uh, onto the idea of... of, of you know, who the, the writer might be and the reasons and, you know, all of this speculation, which, which it, it could be a very simple, simple thing, you know. Um, but it's, it's, become, it's become kind of contorted, I feel like, in this, in, at least in, in the United States, maybe in England, I don't know. Um, but it's not the same in, in, in Italy. People aren't really talking about it in the same way. 